Okay, I am here now at the Haramain station in Mecca and my next destination will be Medina. The Haramain train has recently been opened. It's in service just uh, for a few months now. And the station looks brand new and ultra modern, really nice, very cool architecture. And the station is not far away from the Haram, it was about a 10 minute drive with a taxi. It's like an airport here. Uh, there are security checks and uh, they're now checking my baggage. So I'm on the departure hall and I think the trains leave one floor down. So um, we're going back down. There are uh, 10 platforms here. My train is leaving from platform number two and it's already here and uh, let me check where I have to go. Okay, my coach is uh, at the very end, coach 13. It's going to be a bit of a walk. This uh, train is quite long and it has at least 13 coaches. The price for the ticket is about 150 real, which is uh, approximately 40 US dollars. And uh, the train ride is about three hours. So I made it to my coach. On my ticket it says that uh, I have to be here 10 minutes prior to the departure of the train. I think they closed the gate actually. Um, so you can't enter the platform if uh, you're later than 10 minutes before departure time. So that's quite an important one. They seem to be quite punctual here. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the trip with us. City. That's the one stop between Mecca and Medina. Other than that, we're going straight through. The design of this train station seems to be very similar 
think they use the same architect and the same design style, which is really nice. Very really modern. And as you can see behind me, the architecture is done in such a way that uh, there's not too much sun coming through, which keeps the station cool. So what are my impressions of this train ride so far? It's super smooth. I'm traveling here in coach and it's very comfortable. And we're going fast. We're currently going at a speed of 214 kilometers per hour. Uh, the train goes up to 300 kmh and uh, that's quite fast. And so it only takes about three hours to get from Mecca to Medina and we're just about halfway through. So one and a half more hours to go. We do have a coffee shop or restaurant here in this train. I haven't visited it. Uh, but they had a cart coming through and uh, I got myself a sandwich and some tea. They have some little snacks that they sell throughout. Uh, so that's quite convenient as well. The security measures were quite high. I would compare them a little bit to an airport. I was told you shouldn't carry any knives or scissors with you. Similar to an airport, uh, those are not allowed. Also, if you have very large luggage, uh, you may get into trouble uh, as they only uh, allow you to take carry-on bags with you here in the train. The other bags, I think, are sent separately. Although, since my bags are very small, I didn't have that challenge. What I do like about uh, this ride is also the scenic view that you have here from, from the train. The train goes really through the desert and you get a beautiful feel of the roughness of the countryside. It's all very dry and you can really get a feel for the desert here. I'm not sure whether that's just today or generally, but uh, I didn't see a Wi-Fi connection. I'm however able to charge my devices, so they have uh, two plugs uh, and there are international style plugs, so you don't need an adapter. Uh, they work for European plugs, US plugs and the UK plugs, and so that's very convenient. I'm charging all my cell phones and everything up right now. I would recommend that you make your reservations online. I did my booking online, so I did have a ticket already and that was actually very convenient. The train is quite full, I wouldn't say after the last seat, but it is quite crowded, so um, it's probably a good idea to just make your reservations early on, so you have your ticket when, when you need it. There are several trains going every day. So you'll find some morning trains. I took the afternoon train, which left at uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon and is arriving at about 7 p.m. in the evening in Medina. They do have a night train as well, which uh, I believe leaves around 7 and then respectively gets into Medina at around 10 o'clock. Do check out the current train schedule online to make sure that you get the train that you really want. here in uh, Medina now. The train was absolutely on time and the station looks just as modern as the one in Maka. 
really beautiful. It's all brand new and very, very modern. So my journey continues now. I'm going to try to grab an Uber now and see whether I can get into town. So if you're a train fanatic, the Haramein train is definitely for you. It's a beautiful train. It's super modern. It's very comfortable. It's fast. And I love just the architecture of the train stations. I think it's just a really nice experience. If you want to experience both Mecca and Medina during your same trip and make that part of your Umrah, this train is definitely a good choice. Look at those beautiful colors behind me. It's just amazing. That photo. Fantastic. I love the night design. Okay, so this is pretty spectacular. I just checked in my room here, which is right across the Majid al Nabawi. And you can see it outside. It's beautiful. It's majestic. It's just fantastic. It's huge. And I can't wait to get down there. Okay, I'm heading now down to uh, the mosque. Uh, it's already a little bit late. I'm hoping I'm going to be in time for the Isha prayer. I have to hurry up now. See you later. Just finished the Isha prayer and I'm heading outside now. What? 